Hello everyone and welcome to Wilder Fort Screen Lesson 12. Today we'll be going over word of operations, multiplication, division, and word problems. So let's get started with order of operations. So the easiest way to remember the order of operations is a mnemonic called PANDAS. That's a bit written poorly, but I hope the point gets across. So PANDAS is pretty much parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. That's supposed to be A, by the way. And so pretty much what you can do is when you look at the first problem, you consider PANDAS, so you have to go left to right. So we look for at the P, which is the parentheses. So we look at everything in the parentheses, and we look, okay, so we got to do everything in the parentheses. Now, once we consider everything in parentheses, we've got to look at the multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. The reason we skip the E is because there are no exponents. Exponents look something like, something like this. 3 squared, which just means 3 times itself twice. So we don't see any of that supposedly here. Yep, there seems to be none of that. And so we look at the parentheses and we just do multiplication. So, or not multiplication, my bad. Division in this case. As 20 divided by 7 is 4. And then we just do addition and subtraction. And keep in mind, these two can alternate with each other depending on the type of question. As we can see here, that multiplication is not present, but division is. So you can kind of like switch it around or just kind of skip it. Now, we have to do subtraction after dividing it. So that's 4 minus 4, which is 0. Now the thing is, this looks hard, but it's just anything, zero divided by anything is still zero. So it's just zero divided by whatever it is. 90 divided by 38 divided by 120 is just zero. So having known that, you can, let's pick another example, for example. All right, let's go to, hmm, okay, yeah, let's go with number nine. This looks a bit more harder. So. You would have to pretty much look at everything inside the parentheses as the part of the P, and it seems to be 29 times 5 times 10. So 5 times 10 is automatically 50, and then 29 times 50, 0, because it's just gone, so we can just move on to the tens place. Oh, let me just erase that. Now, 5 times 9 is 45, with 4 over, and that becomes 14, because 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4. So you got 1450, plus 1, which is just 1451, plus 18, which is just 1469, plus 16, which then you carry the 1 over, so it becomes 8. And then once you have there, so you would have to bring the 1 and the 4 together. So that becomes 14, 1485 for number 9. So after having done the order of operations, we can now move on to multiplication. And I will do my best to fill all of these out as much as you can. So for multiplication, it's just a more complex version of what we've already done and know. So with 136 times 55, for example, we just set it up as sort of like the stacked kind of multiplication process. So it's easier for us to visualize. So 6 times 5 is 30. So we bring the 0 here and then 3 over into the 10th place. And we do 3 times 5 plus 3, which is just going to give us 18. We bring the 1 to the 100th place. And we do 1 times 5 plus 1 in this case, and that's 6. Now we automatically know that this part is going to be 680 because it's the exact same thing, except it's just an x to 0. So this should give us, when you add this, 0 plus 0 is just 0, 8 plus 0 is 8, 6 plus 8 is 14, and then you bring the 1 over, and then we add these, you get 7,480. Okay, now let's move on to something like number 7, for instance. Yes. Alright, so 9 times 7 is obviously 63, so you bring this, bring this over, 5 times 7 is 35, 
plus 6 is 41, so you have to do this. And then 7 times 7 is 49 plus 4, which is 53. And then 759 times 8, so we'll start with the 9 times 8, which is just 72. We put the 7 over here, and 5 times 8 is 40, plus 7 is 47. And then the 4 over here, and the 7 times 8 is 56, plus 6, plus 4, which makes it 60. So when you add this, this should be something around, like, what, what is this? Uh, 3, 1, 2, so that's 3 plus 0 is 3, 1 plus 2 is 3. How to do this? As 3 plus 7 is 10, 0, bring the 1 over 6. So your answer should be something like 600, uh, 6,033. 6, yeah. Now let's move on to one of the last pages and this is division so you would just pretty much just do long division and just set it up nicely obviously write a little more neater than this if you can so we see that one group of four goes into four so we just put a one minus four zero bring down to five repeat the same process because it's the exact same thing you can you can only input one group of four into five Bring down the two, and then you would do four. Uh, four times three because four groups, of th uh, three groups of four only go to twelve. And this would be your final answer. Let's repeat the process for number seven, for instance. Eleven groups of zero groups of eleven go into one, but we do realize that one group of eleven goes into eleven. So you can subtract this. Same can be said about here, so we add a zero. And when we get to forty-four, we can see four groups did not fit in. So we can see it's gonna be a one oh four. All right, so here are word problems, and it says read each problem and solve. So a grocery pounds, let's go with number two. A grocery store sold 1328 pounds uh, of poultry during Thanksgiving. This was 549 pounds more than they sold last year. How many pounds of poultry did they sell last year? So they're saying that they sold 1328 during Thanksgiving, so during. And this is 549 pounds more than what they sold last year. So what this is means, just obviously, we're just going to subtract. And we're looking for what they sold last year. So like, that's the main issue. So we just set it up like this. We're going to turn this into 18, so we can subtract it. That turns it to 9. This will turn it to 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. This turns it to 12 and 12 and this will turn to zero as it's borrowed it so 12 minus 5 is 779 pounds <coughs> so let's go with number three so chris earns a monthly salary of 1800 dollars he gives his wife 980 dollars and spends 425 dollars he saves the rest of the money. How much does he save every month? So pretty much we just subtract uh, the total of this from this. So what you could do, oh, like that. What you could do is 1800. Let me fix that. Minus 980. So pretty much you don't have to worry about the zero over here. To that, this becomes 17, and this becomes 
10. I apologize for how small it is, but yes. Um, so 10 minus 8 is 2. 17 minus 9 is just 8. So I have 820. And you have to subtract 425 from that. So let's take this. Let's bring it down here. Much nicer space. 425. 10 minus 5 is 5. This would be 11. And then you borrowed well, one of them, so it would be 7 minus 4. And that's $395. So, yeah, that's all for today. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. And happy Halloween.